Today's Bible story is the story of Balaam and the donkey. What's that, Francis John? You think some animals are really stupid. Oh dear, why is that? There was a bee buzzing round your room and you were trying to let it out of the window, but it kept buzzing off. It just wouldn't understand that you wanted to help it, not hurt it. If only you could have spoken bee language. I know what you mean. At least I am not stupid because I understand what you say. All right. Thank you, Francis John. Well, today's story is all about an animal that could talk and showed his master that he was not as stupid as he thought. Are you ready for today's story? The story of Balaam and the donkey. God's people, the Israelites, have been led out of Egypt by Moses. I'm now camping in the land of Moab. King Balak of Moab was worried because he thought the Israelites would go to war and kill all his people. So he thought of a plan. King Balak sent a message to the prophet Balaam, asking Balaam to come and curse the Israelites by asking for bad things to happen to them, and he would give Balaam the reward. But God spoke to Balaam and told him that he could not curse the Israelites since they were blessed by God. Balaam didn't listen to God. He got on his donkey and left to go and see King Balak. God wasn't pleased with Balaam. So God sent an angel to stand in the way. The donkey saw an angel holding a sword standing in the way. So the donkey moved off the road. Balaam hit the donkey to make the donkey get back on the road. As they went along, the donkey again saw the angel holding a sword standing in the way. The donkey moved very close to the wall. Balaam hurt his foot against the wall. Balaam hit the donkey again. Later, the angel stood at another place where the road became narrow. The donkey could not go around the angel or turn to the left or to the right. The donkey lay down with Balaam sitting on top of it. Balaam was very angry with the donkey, so he hit it with his stick. Then God allowed the donkey to speak. The donkey spoke to Balaam and said, why have you hit me three times? Balaam answered, you have made a fool of me. If only I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. The donkey said to Balaam, I'm your own donkey. You've always ridden me. Do I usually do things like this? No, Balaam said. Then God allowed Balaam to see the angel standing in the road with his sword. Balaam bowed low and fell face down. The angel said to Balaam, Why have you beaten your donkey three times? I came here to stop you going to King Balak. The donkey saw me and turned away from me these three times, which stopped me killing you. Balaam said to the angel, I have sinned. I did not know you were there. I will go back home again. The angel said to Balaam, go to King Balak, but only speak what God tells you to. So Balaam went to King Balak. Balaam would not curse the Israelites, but instead bless the Israelites by saying good things about them, as God told him to. We heard in our story how King Balak wanted Balaam to ask for bad things to happen to God's people, the Israelites. God sent an angel to stop Balaam. And with the help of his donkey, Balaam at last realised he was wrong and instead blessed the Israelites by saying good things about them instead. I wonder, do you find it easier to say good or bad things about people? You may like to close your eyes and think about that now. I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer too, then please say amen at the end after me. Dear God, you love me so much and want me to feel good about myself. Please help me to make others feel good about themselves by saying good things about them too. Amen. What's that, Francis John? Do you think bees think you're stupid because you don't understand them? I'm not sure it's something that they probably really think about. But just imagine if bees could talk 
They could tell you where to get the best honey from and also what you could do that would help them make the best honey and things like that. Well, you never know. Well, thank you for joining us for the story of Balaam and the donkey. We look forward to you joining us again soon. Goodbye and God bless.